Uh, well, I've been away. I mean, after Rachel, uh, played by the fantastic Helen Baxner, who we all miss very, very much. Uh, after she died, I can't, my, Adam, my character, has taken his son Matthew all over the world, really, to try and get away from the sort of the pain, but I think that never quite leaves him. I've been living in Singapore for a number of years. My son has been at boarding school, so I've come back to reconnect with him and reconnect with my friends and bring the odd surprise along the way. Pete has uh, been reunited happily with Jenny, and we've sorted out our differences to a point. Um, however, we are struggling with the recession, and I'm holding down two jobs. Jenny's working, so we're kind of struggling around the financial and emotional aspects of the hardship encountered by the recession. Are they still fighting as much? No, not as much. Do, do Pete, uh, Pete and Jenny or John and Faye, I mean, it's um, yeah. <laughs> kind of love-hate. Harmonious. <laughs> yeah, but more love. Dissonance. I mean, but but it's kind of, there's a kind of sarcastic irony to our love. <laughs> Real? It's, it's, it was always the more sort of... Well, I think more... people kind of like Pete and Jenny because they're kind of uh, a little less... They're, they're a little more fallible than the others, the, the other characters, so I think they can identify readily with them. Yeah. We're less aspirational, we're older, and we're still trying to cope with life and um, doing our best. <laughs> I don't believe David is any less aspirational, really. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, he's still, uh, still ambitious, but, you know, naturally things, things, have, things have moved on, you know, and I think it allows for that, and I think, it's, I think it is richer for the gap.